Hey guys, it's Lego Maestro here, and welcome back to another episode of Hypixel Alert. Guys, the last episode was on Monday. Uh, yeah, I don't have any excuse for that. I do apologize, but this one is most certainly on time. So without further ado, let's get straight into our first story. And this one is coming from Skeppy. Oh man, what a great story to start us off. This week, he hit 300,000 subscribers. And he had tweeted out this. Didn't really think I'd get this far. All I can say is a massive thank you. Well, before I give him a big round of applause, we do have a second person who also hit an absolutely huge milestone this week, Palika MC. This week hitting 100,000 subscribers. Both of these two gentlemen hitting huge YouTube milestones. And of course, you know, I'm going to give them both a big, big round of applause. Huge, huge stuff. I mean, these goals are not easy to get in any way, shape, or form. Now, Palika did not tweet out anything about him hitting 100k, but I'm sure he's very happy because that YouTube silver play button is inbound. Man, it's so cool to see you guys hitting huge milestones. I look forward to seeing the milestones that you hit next. Well, also in the news, our next story is one... Guys, you know how a lot of the Hypixel players complain to the admins and say, look, you hardly update our favorite games on the server. You're just constantly updating Bed Wars and Sky Wars. Nothing ever happens to the ones we want. Well, this week they decided to update some games that I don't think <coughs> there's even a community to complain about it. Externizable made a forum post this week titled Classic Lobby Update Roadmap, where he says, hey, hey, we're currently working on a Classic Lobby Update and wanted to outline our plans. We aim to use this as a reference similar to Murder Mystery, Warlords, TNT games, and more. Now my favorite part that he says in this forum post is the last paragraph. He says this, Each step applies to every game in the classic lobby with some exceptions. For example, we do not plan to release new maps for Turbo Kart Racers in the near future due to its old configuration design being incompatible with how we handle new maps nowadays. Oh, oh, I see, because it's not compatible. Not because the game is dead or anything, you know. Not because it'd be a huge waste of money and time to make more mouse, but <laughs> nope, it's apparently incompatible. Wow, that's... <laughs> That's a new one. I'm sorry, dude, but I don't think you're fooling many people with that. Anyway, this forum post is pretty cool. Here is a screenshot you can see of the updates they plan on making. Now, I'm not going to really get into this forum post because, well, <laughs> I don't think too many people care about the classic games, but maybe that's just me. Regardless, I will leave a link to that forum post in the description if you are interested. However, on to a much more popular mini game that's getting an update this week. This forum post is coming from Connor Linfoot titled TNT Games Roundup New Achievements, Cosmetics, and More. Now, just to highlight some of the things they added in this forum post, of course, there are some new achievements and bug fixes. But they have also, the main thing is that they have now added private game support for TNT games, whereas in the past, Private games would just send you to a new game before people start filling up, but now it will actually keep you in a personal game with whoever is playing. And they also increased the coin game in most of the mini games, so I will leave a link to that forum post in the description as well. Alright guys, so our next story is on everyone's favorite YouTuber, ZarioX. Yep, you guys might know who he is, probably from him spamming his link in every single Hypixel lobby when he live streams. He's had multiple exposed videos made on him, some by Tenebrius, stuff like that. And well, this week, it looks like he may lose his YouTube rank. On the Hypixel forum post titled YouTuber Rank Requirements and Applications, one of the frequently asked questions is what types of content do you not Except, and well, the third circle down on that list might be a little trouble for our friend Zed. It says they do not accept channels which have content that is purposely misleading or abuses YouTube search or recommended video algorithms to gain views, including titles, thumbnails, tags, etc. And well, you guys know about the KSI vs. Logan Paul fight, and guess who decided to abuse the algorithm? Yup, ZROX made a live stream titled Live KSI vs. Logan Paul, Deji vs. KSI, Hashtag hype. Now this is most definitely in clear violation of the YouTube rank rules, abusing the search algorithms, trying to get people to click just because of the thumbnail and title, and it wasn't even the fight. The whole video was him playing Fortnite over him commentating this KSI vs. Logan Paul event. So not only was it completely misleading, but it was completely false, and the rumors around town that I hear was that he was actually giving out links to rogue pirated sites for the event while it was happening. Now don't hold me to that part, but regardless, the main thing is he's breaking the official rules of YouTube rank, and at the moment, he still hasn't lost it. And if you think that's bad, well, I got some news for ya. It gets even worse. ZROX has been recently exposed for getting his subscribers from, well, 
YouTube comment sections. Here is a screenshot you can see of him advertising on Nigahiga's video. Here's one for FaZe Tivu's video and Scissor's video. Oh my goodness, dude. This guy, I'm telling you what, if he doesn't lose his YouTube rank, he is certainly a very hated YouTuber. That I can assure you. And those are just the three examples that were tweeted to me. I imagine there are much more, but... <sighs> now, I know there are some admins that do watch Hypix alerts, so it's very possible that within the next week, Zario here may lose his YouTube rank, and I'm sure also after this video goes live, he's probably going to take down his live KSI vs. Logan Paul fight. So if you want to stay updated on this whole event here with Zario, make sure you are subscribed with those notifications on. I'm telling you, man. You messed up. I realize there are a lot of forum posts this week, and I do apologize about that, but we do have a, another one to get into. This one is made by the Hypixel Player Council, titled Achievement Balance Proposal. Now, this is probably going to be a very controversial forum post, because in the past, people have worked their butts off to get crazy levels of achievements. I mean, you know how in Reddit, people farm for karma all day long? Well, it's basically that, except on Hypixel, okay? Achievements are like a sign of dominance on the server. So basically, in the past, the rewards have varied and they came up with a new system recently to how achievements could earn rewards, but now they're thinking of reworking it. Now here's a screenshot you can see of all the different mini games they plan on changing the achievements for. I am not going to get into any of those, but I will leave a link to that forum post in the description. However, I think a lot of people are going to be hating on this forum post because one of the examples of something they're changing in this update is the TNT tag achievement in TNT games. One of the achievements is to get 500 wins in the game and they're thinking of making it go down to 100 since it takes a long time to do and whatnot. Well, the problem is a lot of people actually have that 500 win achievement for that exact reason. People have worked like crazy to make sure they get every single achievement in the game, and now all of their hard work is gonna be flushed down the toilet besides the extra coins they got because, well, everyone else can get the same achievements with way less effort. So I can tell you this is definitely going to make a lot of the OG hardcore fans very upset, but I guess we will see what happens. If you want to stay updated on that, make sure you are subscribed. That being said though, I think the majority of players on the server will like this update because for those of us who don't have their entire lives to spend going after achievements, it makes it a little more probable and a lot easier to achieve them. Well, we've got a couple of stories to end off today, and since we're on a roll, I might as well get into our final forum post of the day. There are four this week, guys. I'm so, so sorry. But this one is made by a punch titled Arcade Zombies Update and Mini Walls Maps. Now, I'm just going to briefly go over this forum post, the highlights being this. They added a new Zombies Map two new zombies modes in party mode. They also fixed a ton of zombies and bugs, and they added four new mini walls maps. So I'm not going to get into those. I'll just leave a link to the forum post in the description. You guys are pretty tired of hearing about forum posts this episode, aren't you? So I'm going to end off today's episode with something I'm sure a lot of you will be very happy to hear. Not publicly announced yet, but I'm sure a lot of you have noticed it. This one is coming from the original ace. And well, this week, you guys know that recently he hit 100,000 subscribers, and you know what happens when you hit 100k? Not just that plaque, but also, as you can see on his channel, that tick mark showing that he is verified. Big, big congrats to my man, the original ace. Huge, huge stuff. He now has three verified 100k YouTube channels. Goodness, man, that is some business. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today's episode of the news. If you enjoyed putting a like on it, would be much appreciated because it shows that you like what I do here. If you've got any news to submit, my Twitter and Discord are in the description as always. Of course, if you are new here, make sure you subscribe with those notifications on. You want to stay inside the loop on everything happening on Hypixel, not outside of it. And staying subscribed to Hypixel Alert is, of course, the best way to do that. Guys, we are so, so close to 35,000 subscribers, so it'd be pretty awesome if we hit that today. But regardless, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much once again for watching, and Hypixel Nation now, over 34.8 thousand subscribers, and I will see you next time.